Hey guys, Xbox Down 2 back in, and this is part 2 of my anime overall collection. So, um, yeah, if part 1 was all my box sets, as you can see there, and so part 2 is going to be all my single um, editions here. So, I'll start with a couple of Blu rays I've got. Um, I've got one steelbook, one normal, um, Paprika. I've only watched about half of it. It's very uh, different, it's trippy, uh, basically um, this girl can enter people's dreams and interact and that type of thing, that's as much as I could get from it, but i got to um, uh, watch it a bit more to kind of fully what it's about, but it's okay, uh, this one's a steelbook, a Kari, uh, great anime, it yeah, comes in that uh, anime classic box set, this does come with the Blu-ray and DVD also, and it's a very nice steelbook. So, um, yeah, they're the only two Blu-rays in the way anime I've got. Um, now, I've got four live-action anime slash manga um, annotations. So the first one is Gantz. That uh, anime I was telling you is very good, that one right there. And uh, yeah, I've only seen about half way through it, but what I have seen is very close to the anime, and the costumes and the weapons and the monsters in it look really good. There is a sequel out at the moment, I've seen that, I haven't picked that one up yet. Um, it is subtitled because it is in Japan, so from the uh, producers of Death Note, which is the next one I'll show you, but um, it's very good. Uh, here I've got a double pack of Death Note. Um, it's got one and two. This is another great live action um, anime movie. And uh, yeah, I, that's the one series I've got to get, but it's just expensive at the moment. It's about $75, so just wait till it comes down a bit. And the last live action one I've got is. Um, Blood, the last vampire. Uh, this is really good. This one I quite enjoyed because it's done in English, um, so it wasn't too bad. I, I, quite, I enjoyed it a lot better. Um, I'm not a fan of sitting there trying to read subtitles, but um, uh, I can try and persevere with these ones. That's why I've only watched about halfway through. I've got to try and finish them, but I just can't do it because I'm fine I'm too focused on the words and missing out on what's happening on screen but when I got this this is great this one's done in English so uh, I quite enjoyed it and it's pretty good um, pretty good movie so that's uh, Blood the Last Vampire now here's the anime version of the same movie same name slightly different to what the um, live action is but same principles and same story behind it so um yeah it is blood the last vampire the animated one now i've got here's the rest of my ghost in the shell collection um this is a just a two disc special edition of the laughing man these are just about two three episodes i think from that first series down the bottom there um when i got it i didn't realize it was those episodes from that set i thought it was a uh, full-blown full-length movie just on the laughing man uh, the laughing man is a couple episodes in the first season about um, a hacker terrorist hacker going around setting off bombs and different things and hacking the different people and machines and he leaves a calling card the laughing man of, of this symbol so um, that's uh, pretty good so that's that one and here's the other two movies, like I said, the first Ghost in the Shell movies in that box set there. And this is the second one, Ghost in the Shell Innocence, really good. And this is the third one, Ghost in the Shell Solid State Society, both great full length movies from this series. Highly recommend it if you like your sci fi, cyborg type, um, police detective type anime. I've uh, got a couple Street Fighters, I think there's one or two more of 
in this series, I'm not sure, but I've got Street Fighter Alpha Generations and Street Fighter Alpha the movie. Um, great um, anime for Street Fighter fans. Really enjoy it. Good animation and good stories. Um, okay, next to is part of the Ronin Kenshin series. Uh, this one here is the OVA collection. It's got three full-length movies in it. Um, does it come with? Oh, I'll just open it up. Can't remember the titles actually. Trying to one-handed. We got trust. Sorry, guys, for the there it is trust. Betrayal and Reflection. Yeah, so they're very good movies. And then this one here is the original um, motion picture. Uh, this one originally came on VHS. I think came out um, 1990, I think. I know it's an old one. Um, no, I can't see a a date on it but it might be that might be 1990 it could be something like that but yeah that's a really good one uh here's a couple vampire just put these up here a couple vampire hunter d very good animes um i prefer this one bloodlust over this one uh, it's just two different types of animations done this one's more traditional, this one's more cartoonish, <laughs> if that makes sense. This is, um, yeah, uh, it's just a different art style. I would prefer this one over that one. And they're slightly, uh, same main character, but um, two different stories. So, um, yeah, I think they might be done by two different artists and companies, I think. But, uh, yeah, very good vampire. Um, movies uh, now these are all starting to get into the one olives now uh, this is Parasite Dolls really good movie uh, once again about um, in the future there's like um, anyone seen like iRobot they have these robots and do all your chores and go shopping and do all that type of thing house cleaning and for all of a sudden uh, there's this detective uh, this guy here, the detective, and um, yeah, they just start going haywire and start turning on their owners and going around killing people, and uh, yeah, they don't know what's going on, it's like a virus got into them, if I remember rightly, something like that, and uh, yeah, so the whole town is getting stuck with all these robots turning on each other, so like an iRobot, so it's a pretty good one, and that was just a blind buy. Um, here we go, We've got Samuel Jackson in Afro Samurai, not bad, not good, uh, not bad anime, pretty good, um, I've got to, um, pick up the second one, um, yeah, so this one's pretty good, now this one, Wicked City, it's a really old anime, this one, uh, really good, uh, sort of like the Body Snatchers, um, horror movie, where you've got these aliens and they, they look like humans and then they um, gun around killing people. I think pretty much like a prostitute one going around and killing their men. So um, yeah, it's pretty good. A lot of blood and guts. Uh, these ones I've got cheap, $2 each from second hand shop. It's volume 5 and 3. Uh, was it Soli Rookie, or however you say it? <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm I'm washed them because I need to get the others and and that. But I quickly had a look at the trailer and review on YouTube. Basically, um, I think it's about uh, this uh, bounty hunter, this guy here. So yeah, I don't know much about that one. Uh. This one, Appleseed, I know there's, there's more in this series, uh, 
I don't know if this is an actual series or just a couple of full length movies, I'm not sure, but I uh, just got it cheap and it's okay. Uh, I found it alright. Different, uh, it's half animated and half um, like CG together, so yeah, it, it took me a while to get used to, but by the end of it, it was alright, so um, yeah, not bad. Uh, no, this one should have been in the other part one, but it's Ninja Scroll the series, um, very good um, series, pretty much like um, Ninja Scroll the movie, um, yeah, just uh, really good samurai action, blood and guts and brutal, yeah, really good. Alright, I've got three to go guys. Uh, this one's sort of like anime, Lady Death, but it's an actual American one, hand-drawn one. So, Lady Death, um, basically she's like the female version of the devil from Underworld. And um, I think she's uh, taken on her father, the devil there, and it's about um, trying to overthrow him type thing. So, yeah, not a bad cartoon. Anime. Uh, just one last, second last. Highlander. I just bought it. Didn't know much about it. Uh, mainly because I saw it here from the director of Ninja Scroll and the Animatrix program. Uh, the Search for Vengeance. Um, basically, he just like lives a long, long time, going through time from ancient times to futuristic and. He just goes through centuries and centuries uh, trying to find the love of his life. He lost, I think she got kidnapped or she got killed. And I think it's all like time traveling as well. And he's just trying to chain events, chain events to get her back and stuff like that. And he's got a main boss. He's got to try and get in case um, getting away from each time period. So yeah, very good. So I haven't watched that one for a long, long time. And the last one, guys, is Angel Sorority. Sorority. Uh, apologize, guys. Sorry. And uh, yeah, this one's this one's. A, I only watched it the once. That's um. Yeah, it's a hard one to explain. What I got from it. Um. His sister falls in love with him, so a bit of brother sister love interest there, a bit weird, but um, yeah, not not a bad flick, so, yeah, so, there you go guys, hope that's, um, it's alright for you, and um, yeah, that was me, that was my entire anime collection, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time, over here, here, ugh. I'll catch you another time, <laughs> that might be easier, and uh, stay tuned, because, um, I've got a competition coming up very soon, so I'll, my next video I'll be posting will be that about a competition. Okay, see you guys. Bye.